just the second rape story. Now it's the third rape story. I can't believe you just. Oh, let me take it back a little bit. Let me take it back a little bit. Just for you told me the first story. No, you first you told me nobody, and now you now you know it's just even worse now because I got another story I've got to try to make a theory from. Another story. This is a, you have never talked to me. But you just told me. You told me a few minutes ago. We had uh, and we went over it. I. You told me the first story. No, you first you told me he ran away. Then it was the rape story. Then it was the second. This is her right here. She's pretty much just looking down the entire time too. And for this trial, they've so far they've been showing very limited. They've only been showing like this and this like kind of weird. I think they're live streaming it rather than having actual cameras in there. But I think they've started to add more different angles and stuff. So for now, they've just got this very boring view. But I think. Going forward, they're actually showing the witnesses on the stand and stuff like that. Rape story. Now it's the third rape story. I can't believe you just said the rape story. I'm j I, I just, what do you want me to call it? The, the story of Gannon disappearing? Okay, you told me the first version of that, the second version, and now the third version. You a second or third version? Yes. Can you sit down and talk to me? No, that day that I got home. No, the day I got home. That next morning, after my mom and sister and Landon and everybody was at the house, you you told me you were texting Bethel and you told her the story. I don't know what you told her, and I, I kind of don't. Even, yes, you do. I don't even care. No. I go there. That's where. My God, I can't believe you're lying to me right now. About what? Hold on, I'm gonna move myself so you can try to see this. I don't think the subtitles are all correct, but I mean, there's somewhat. I'm not lying to you about anything, Tisha. They had y'all at the police department when I was there. Oh, 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 you you mean when when Landon showed up and then they brought you know I was already there or whatever. Is that what you're talking about? Because that's the only time I know. I don't even know when you're there. I just assumed you had finally come in that night. <laughs> Even know, Tisha. You were there because she was talking to you there. Who was? Bethel. She was talking to me at the police station. Yes. I, I, honestly, most of most of my talking was with uh, Mark, the other guy that was at Starbucks. So I I don't know what you mean. She was talking to me. I think I might have talked to. I think I talked to her for like ten or fifteen minutes. I'm, if I'm did not. Did not tell you anything different. This is all my day when I was going. He stays pretty calm with her, and she just continues to have a fucking attitude. Oh my god, I hate I hate her tone of voice. You know what I mean? And it's not her son; it's her stepson. But it's, she's acting like she doesn't fucking care. First of all, but her tone of voice sucks. Wait till lay down. Right hey, Tisha, 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 I believe you, okay? I, what I want you to answer for me is those simple questions. Did did anything, did, did Gannon die and you just freaked out? Or was there an accident involved? Did you kill him? I, answer all those questions. Those are the ones that I want to know, okay? I don't care about who talked to who, when we went where. That, honestly, at that, this point, none of that freaking matters. What matters is that little 11-year-old boy is, is either out there or he's not, and I got to know that. And you're the only one that has any information regarding that. I gave you that information and you're not going to look for it. No. I mean, what do you say to that, right? Like, she's telling him a story. He just doesn't believe it. I see why he doesn't believe it. But at the same time... Okay, for example... Isn't there kind of is a double standard when it comes to tip lines and receiving shitty tips and the police having this mentality of, well, we have to track down every tip, right? We can't track down every tip. Um, and then when you have a suspect or a witness or whatever telling you a certain story, doesn't that same thing not apply where it's like, well, you have to track it down. You can't just sit here and tell her. 
But that's what they'll do, though, especially to suspects. They'll just repeatedly be like, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true, and make the suspect kind of change their story around. And I'm not saying they don't have good reason for that, but in the same regards, if they're going to complain about all these tips that they know are shitty, well, don't you have good reasons to not track down some of those tips? Like, why have this mentality of, like, we've got to track down every tip, it's what's out of our hands? It is out of your hands because you don't track down a lot of tips and stuff when it comes to cases like this. Because she is making a good point. She is telling you a story. She's answering your questions. You're just not getting off the phone with her and relaying the information. You're choosing to go back and forth with her about whether or not it's true. I'm not saying I believe it's true. I really, I don't know. Oh, but you you didn't, you ignored my question. I, I mean, answer those questions for me. What's the first question? All right. Did you kill Gannon? No. Okay. Did you, did Gannon die on your watch, whether it was an accident or naturally from some injury? No. Okay. Did Gannon have an accident of, of a serious nature and you freak out? I don't know. This is, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. I want to I want to really listen and hear if her no's sound convincing. Because that second no didn't sound as convincing to me as the first no. But maybe I didn't pay attention to the first no as much. But that second no, if it was an accident, it sounded less convincing. Hold on. Let me see. Die on your watch, whether it was an accident or... I gave you that information and you're not going to look for it. No, but you you didn't you ignored my question. I I mean answer those questions for me. What's the first question? All right. Did you kill Gannon? No. Okay. Did you did Gannon die on your watch, whether it was an accident or naturally from some injury? No. Okay. Did yeah. The nose sound different. I don't know which one means what, but those two nos. They sound different to me. I ain't gonna hold you. Get and have an accident of, of a serious nature and you freak out and cover it up. No. See that middle no. So the answer is to no to all of that. Correct. Okay. I gotta hear him again. I gotta hear him again. Gannon. No. Okay. That one was like an upset, like a, no. that one was like a, how could you? How could you even ask me that kind of no? Which, which that could be a red flag. Cause it's like, well, you know how he, I don't know. I don't know. They go both ways. That could, they go both ways. But, but that one maybe is more understandable of the outrage. It's like, no, I didn't kill you. I didn't kill him. Did you? Did Gannon die on your watch, whether it was an accident or naturally from some injury? No. I don't know. That was significantly different from the first no. But maybe she's just calming down. Okay. Did Gannon have an accident of, of a serious nature and you freak out and cover it up? No. Those, those second nos sounded the same. I th yeah, no. Okay, I think he had an accident. She covered, she's covering it up. I don't know. So the answer is to no to all of that. Correct. Okay. Now, these, this is going to be very uncomfortable for you, even more uncomfortable than what I just asked you. But did Harley kill Gannon? God, no. Okay, does she, any of this? Harley, I think Harley is the sister, her daughter, so it would have been Gannon's stepsister. I think that's who Harley is. They're a blended family. So yeah, I think Harley is her daughter. Hold on, she's changed her position. When did she change her her, her seat? When did, she, when did she move? Hold on a second. Did Harley kill Gannon? God, no! Okay, does she... Any she oh, oh she moves when they asked the did Harley kill Gannon and then she gets back to the outrage. Hmm. Outrage in her voice. But him having an accident and her trying to cover it up is equally as bad. She didn't have we didn't really have outrage at that. It was just kind of like, no, I didn't. 
But then it's like, did someone murder him? She, it's like, God, no. I don't, I don't know. But there's, there's a, there's, there's a clear di difference there. The same questions. Does she have anything to do with an accident, a cover up? Was she involved in this at all with you? No, I haven't been involved either. And then she calms down again and get what the fuck. So I just, but, but so something, so there's a blank somewhere that I just, you have not filled the blank. Yeah. So. How have I not filled the blank? It's. You, so you don't think for a second that someone came in the house and took Anna, you don't think that? I don't doubt that. I don't know what to believe, but I'm not doubting you. I'm just having to ask all these questions. So. You know, <sighs> I begged you. To, I said, hey, let us all be together. Look at me in my eyes and ask me that question. Feel it in your heart and ask me that question. If you're looking for a smooth, euphoric experience that's just easy and convenient, check. I don't trust that. She's trying to tap into his emotions. Don't do that. Don't do that. Experiences to choose from. Like. It's not about emotions. It's about finding his kid. Right. It's about finding his kid, and you was the last person to see him. So don't bring up irrelevant. It's like it's kind. It's like hard to say that, but it's kind of irrelevant emotions. Like you're the last person to see his kid. You can't really pull this thing of like. Think about it. We love each other so much. Just think about that. Not not the relevant facts. Like red flag. Red flag probably. But but you gotta you gotta look at it from my perspective, okay. First of all, uh, and I got a couple things to say, so let me get through it. These these stories, just like I've said the whole time, they don't sound legit to me. They just don't add up. They're not true. Something is off from every story because there's different versions. So that's number one. Number two, see now that's what I'm saying. When it goes back to like not actually tracking down the thing. It's like I get that, but I mean, you again with the tips, you get a lot of tips that they 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 act like, oh, we know these tips are bullshit. Well, then why do you track them down then? Sticky situation, but at the same time, you don't want to waste time. It's his kid; he doesn't want to waste time tracking down bullshit leads, right? I've only talked to you once. Okay, okay, all right, fair enough, but. You got to put yourself in my shoes, okay? What the hell would you do if this was Harley, okay? And and you didn't have all the information. How would you put all these pieces together? So, I mean, you got for my glasses, how am I supposed to put all these pieces together when I don't even have a third of the pieces? I'm just trying to fit the piece, find the pieces, and get them together. You want me to answer that question? Which one? The one about what if it was Harley? Yeah. Yeah, answer that question. Okay. So, as soon as you tell me this, when when I get off this phone, I will have my husband and my children together in a home, and our officers will be praying, and we will be on the phone with the detectives, and we will be saying, "Listen, I support my husband, and we are need we need to find someone over here. If somebody had to see something, ask them again." Do something. We will be putting a fucking alert out everywhere. We will be putting a description out everywhere. We will close the fucking borders from Colorado to all of them, up and down 95, because at least the fucking Mexico. 95? What? what that shit. Why would I'm you? Sorry, 85, whatever. 85? What's the alert called? 25. This oh. He's picking on petty details. I'm confused, man. I'm so confused. She's given a she's given a good response here. I mean, this is a reasonable response. What she's saying, if you believe the lead that she's giving, I guess. At least the Mexico. Well, you please be careful when you say those things because then they're going to start looking up and down ninety five on the east coast. Okay. Sorry. And that's not going to help us. It. I mean, since you know he's not over there. That's not going to help us if they get sent over there, okay? So, so but, but you didn't answer my question. How am I supposed to put all these pieces together? You're telling me let's go home and pray. I feel like you kind of just admitted right there that the police are listening to the phone conversation. Because how would they, unless you went and told them, like, oh, she said 95. Why would you even say that? Like, oh, they're... Pray, and I've been praying my, I've been praying nonstop, okay? But, you know, we got to have action, too. So... 
I, so here, I listen. I gotta go because now I'm now I'm freaking. Everybody's gonna start questioning me at the house. Where have you been? What are you doing? Are you involved? I'm I'm gonna get all those questions now. So I. The house. Who are you staying with? Uncle Jeff, and then freaking Veronica and all them that are all over the place. Okay, so. Why would you have to be anywhere near them? I don't have to be, but you saw we had Why to do. Listen. And your daughter. Tisha, listen. I had to do these statements and interviews and all this shit. It's just nonstop. Every day is something else. Okay, so if, if you think. If you think all this information is what they need, apparently the, the El Paso people haven't done their job and they haven't forwarded it to the FBI. So I'm, I, I don't know, there's some Amber lady called me from the FBI and I'm going to just email you her number and her name. And if you want to pass this information to her, that's much higher than the freaking CBS or whatever you call. Yeah, because they called everyone I know. Okay, well then that's what. You can tell them too. Okay, I, but I don't have the. And that's the thing too. It's like she be, she gives information, but then she doesn't want to actually pass it on to the police. We have any like she gives them information, but then when it comes to passing it along to the police, she's kind of like, they already have it. What's the point? Nobody's listening. Document you have. So, I, anyways, I'm just gonna send you the contact, and if you want it, you take it. If not, I can't make you do anything. But I gotta go. Okay. Yeah, but that's not how you would say trying to find your son. You would not say if you don't want to do anything. Blah, blah, blah. No, that's not true because I can't. I, I wanted you with me the whole time and you left. So I'm going to give you the information you need to pass your stuff along and then you can do that, okay? Listen to me. We don't have anywhere to stay. I'm asking you to stay with your wife and daughter and let's do this together. And you tell me no if you think that you don't give a shit about us and you don't want that. You tell me no right now. Yeah, with the emotionally charged language. Say no if you don't give a shit about us. It's not that he doesn't give a shit about you. It's like he's trying to find his kid and shit's not adding up. That's two different things. Tell you no. Do you tell me yes? If you want your family together because you believe I me. I wanted my family together. No, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. I wanted my family together the whole time. And listen, I... You're not letting me help you, so I recommend that you get in top contact with this Amber lady because she offered me help and safety because I told her what I was going through, and she I, I'm sure they'll do the same thing for you, especially all that you've been through with the you're telling me about the social media stuff and people chasing you around. You said in the email, so I'm gonna send you her contact information, okay, and then you decide whether or not to contact her to to find protection for yourself and get them this information, okay? But I gotta go, okay. I gotta go, Tisha. I gotta go. The question. What question? I said. I said I wanted you to be together, but I gotta go. Okay. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Just an intense phone call. All right, anywho.